Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm back with another video and in today's video we have a Lenovo IdeaPad 110-17ISK also known as a model name ADVL. Those information can be found on the bottom of the laptop on the bottom sticker. You can find it right there. It will tell you Lenovo IdeaPad 110-17ISK or the model name which is an ADVL. And in this video, I'm going to take you over on how you can open it up and how you can replace the battery because people are like, okay, I see the battery right here, but I cannot budge it out. I, I don't know how to remove it. I'm going to go over how you can replace your battery or remove your battery in case you want it. I'll try to get the link for a new battery. I'll put it in the video description. Also, I'll put on in the video description all the tools that I'll be using. All right. Let's go over the tool. The tool I'm going to be using is the iFixit screwdriver set. I like this screwdriver set because it's one of the best bits out there. These are S2 class steel bit. That means it's a really tough and steel. They will last you many years. If you get the Pro set, they will include you an opening tools and tweezers and a few other stuff. If not, grab yourself a guitar pick. And metallic guitar picks are really suitable to opening cases and covers. All right, with these two on hand, now we're going to get it started. First thing first, you want to power off the laptop completely. You want to flip it upside down and you're going to see a whole bunch of screws. We're going to start from one corner and we're going to remove all the screws, including two in the middle. This one is missing one screw right over here, but it's not a big deal. Go ahead and start removing all the screws. Also, if you guys like my videos and if you want to support the channel, you can do that by clicking that like and subscribe. I'll greatly appreciate it will be a tremendous support and motivation for me to make more videos, take requests, answer your questions in the comment area. I really appreciate it. All right, once we remove all the screws, now we, we can't remove the caddy or it's still nothing down here. So we're gonna flip it over and then we're gonna open up the screen and we're gonna remove the keyboard. You wanna grab the guitar pick and it's open it too. We're gonna stick it between the top side of the, in there. And we're gonna twist it towards the screen. Just keep doing it every one centimeter and then you hear a little tiny clicks. And I'm gonna put my hand there. I'm still gonna do the same thing here all the way to the corner. And then I'm gonna hold it from the middle and bring it up. And then we can put it down to one side. Uh, we're gonna move it to this side. Now to open up the lock here for, to remove the flex cable, just lift it up 90 degree and pull out the flex cable. This flex cable has a little earlobes on the side, so you cannot pull it straight back. You have to lift it up a little bit in a 45 degree angle, you have to pull it out. I'll go in a bit how you put it back in. All right, down here we got a few more screws. These are different screws than the one on the bottom cover. There's a warranty label here. You have to pick up the over the warranty label and remove the screw underneath. Remove the screw by the jack. Remove the screw right over here and the screw by the flex cable. All right, now that we removed all the screws from down here, you can slide out the caddy for the, from the bottom, just slide it out because we removed the screw right here. This is the cable for the battery. So you wanna pull it back, just like that. Just pull the cable back and the jack is gonna get disconnected, untangle it from here. All right, now what we're gonna do, we're gonna remove the palm rest from the bottom cover. So we're gonna close it up halfway. Make sure you have unhooked it from here all the way to the back. You're gonna stick the guitar pick between the palm rest and the bottom cover. You're gonna flip it like this until you do this all the way around in the front end. You wanna do it to the side. You wanna hit big flex. That's the clip that's getting loose. To the side, go all the way to the back corner. Now, what do you want to do? You want to close it gently. We are going to put it face down. Now, we're going to lift up the bottom cover, wiggle it around, lift it up, and pull it towards the back, push it towards the back a little bit, gently. And let me see. Now, you can see the cable right there. It just came through here. It pulled out. And the battery is going to be stuck to the bottom casing. I don't know why. They could have easily put these two screws on the other side and made a little jack there, but they rather make the life miserable. So now we're going to remove these two screws here. One right there. And one right here. 
Now you can slide out, make sure the cable goes through here, you slide out the battery right through here. And there's your battery, pretty much. So I'll put the, I'll tell you the model number for this battery. There is the model name. The model name is an L15S4A01. So that's again L15S4A01. That's the model name which is right in the corner right here. Let's imagine that you got the new battery in. All you need to, it comes with a whole cable. So you want to stick the cable through this hole right there and slide in the, the battery, it just clicks in right in there. And you want to put the two screws for the battery. And once you have the screws right in there, now you want to bring the, put it in this position a little bit, bring it upward. So what you want to do, you want to first shove the battery through this hole right there. Once the head goes right through here, the screen can be closed. There's enough space. You want to bring it over from the back, keep it in there, bring it back, align the back corners, make sure it's nicely in place, push it down and push the corner, make sure you hit those clicks in the front, push down the front side. And before we do anything, just put the two screws in the back corner so the hinges, you know, they don't damage the hinges, but they can rip the plastic if you don't put enough screws in it. So tighten up these two screws. Once you finish with those, once, go ahead and put the empty caddy for it if you want. Now you're gonna open up the screen. Now you got the cable right here, you wanna, run the cable right through this small gap right there and bring it up and it slide it right through here. Uh, you can see the exposed pins right here. It has to face down and the flat part has to face upward. So you want to put it evenly through this co connector. Okay, once it goes in there, make sure this connect cable goes right in between these cracks. Put the screws that you remove on top here. The one by the Carry, DVD carry, one right down here, and one right right where the connector is for the battery, and one right where the flex cable is gonna be. Now, to plug in the keyboard, it's really easy. All you need to do is to put it in an offset position like this. You wanna open up the lock 90 degree, now you want to bring this uh, flex cable in 45 degree inside the jack. You want to set it down and then you want to lock it down. So bring it down all the way in, 45 degree. Make sure the earlobes are inside the jack. Now set it down towards the motherboard and hold it. And with the other finger, just close the lock. Once you got that, don't press the power on button, make sure. Just grab the bottom side, slide it right under the palm rest. Hold it from the middle with a little gap, so you can give this kind of curvature to the side, so you can snap the sides in. This side, oh, I forgot the bottom issue is in. Now you can let go and just push down the top F1 up to F12, so you hit that tiny clicks. Now you can close up the screen, flip it upside down, and now you're gonna put the screws on the bottom cover. I hope you guys liked this video and helped you guys out. If it did, please click that like and think about subscribing to support the channel. If you have any questions or requests, feel free to leave them in a video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Also, big note, don't forget about how you're supposed to charge a battery. If you install the new battery, make sure that you do not power on once you install the battery. It has to be an off mode and you have to connect the charger to leave it charging for at least three to four hours before turning it on. That's for initial charge. After that, you can do whatever you like the way you like to use the laptop. But first one, once you install it, do not power on. Make sure you fully charge before you power it on for at least two to three hours. And that will be all for today's video.